All right, so we're almost to back to school season, and my six-year-old is going into first grade this year, and I get to do meet the teacher today and all those things, and what comes with that, six-year-old little boys uh, love to ask lots of questions, and there's a lot of questions where I get in this act of trying to answer it in a simple way, but then I sometimes overcomplicate it. Same thing at work. Same thing, there's a lot of things, especially in marketing. We get into this lingo conversation and using TLAs, three-letter acronyms, and, and we sometimes just overcomplicate the simple message of marketing tactics, marketing strategies. One post I recently saw from Chris Walker as uh, a marketing marketing influencer, I guess you could say, on LinkedIn, been following for quite some time. But I love some of his hot takes that he has. One of them is this idea of go-to-market efficiency. His take recently on a post a day or so ago was go-to-market efficiency is the number one issue for CEOs and CFOs today. And it talks about just like measuring the go-to-market function and how the problem resides in that different departments within the go-to-market engine are the things that go into go to market. So it's marketing sales, mar marketing operations. All those things are working in silos and saying, hey, we hit our number, or hey, we generated this, or hey, we saved on this. But if you look at the holistic picture, you know, the payback period on all those individual things is, is exponentially more than what the silos are reporting out. It's just something to consider. And if you thought about a question that maybe like my six-year-old would ask is like, how do you define go-to-market efficiency? Like, how would you explain that to someone who is six or someone who is young in their career? Or heck, even how would you explain that to an executive? Like, hey, we're going to improve our go-to-market efficiency. This is just top of mind for me personally, because I work in that world as a commercial marketing manager at Rockwell Automation. But I love what Chris has the equation that he put into go-to-market efficiency. And this is going to be a nice baseline definition of what we're fixing to walk into. Go-to-market efficiency equals this awesome equation of your total go-to-market spend, so that budget spend, divided by total net new annual recurring revenue, your ARR, it's another TLA, a three-letter acronym. And then you take that number times 100%, and then whatever number pops out of that equals your go-to-market efficiency percentage. That's just some equation to think about when we're talking about go-to-market efficiency. And I, I love this conversation and kind of what it represents from a marketing leadership perspective and how the chief marketing officer role or a marketing leader role works with the other C-suite members, your CEO and your CFO and other people, your, C your chief revenue officer, others working together to really make this magic happen. Uh, one thing I do want to talk, how would you, again, we talked about how would you explain this to a six-year-old or explain this to a team member in a, an illustrative way. I thought one, one fun way we could work through this together is how, how can we bring this to life through story? And so I, I thought of a way that we could, we could do this and, I'm going to share that right now. Let's see here. So the adventure of Captain Grow and the treasure of Efficiency Island. So once upon a time in a land filled with exciting companies, there was a brave captain named Captain Grow. And he was on a mission to find the magical treasure hidden on Efficiency Island. This treasure would help his king become the most successful and happy land in all of the world. But to find it, he needed help from his trusty crew and a special map called the GTM map, the go-to-market map. The GTM map was a magical guide that showed the best path to Efficiency Island. But there was a catch. The path wasn't a straight line. Instead, it had lots of twists and turns. Captain Gro needed to make sure every part of his ship worked together perfectly to stay the course. The ship's crew included Molly the Marketing Mermaid. Molly loved to make sure everyone knew about Captain Grow's adventures. She would shoot, shout exciting news about their journey to everyone in the nearby lands, but Molly sometimes forgot to talk to other crew members, which meant she didn't always see the whole picture. 
I've been there, done that. And then we have Sam, the salesman seal. Sam was a fantastic at convincing others to join their adventure. He was so excited when he got new adventurers on board that he would throw a party. But sometimes Sam didn't know about the cost of getting these new friends like food and supplies. Then there's Oscar, the operations octopus. Oscar was busy keeping the ship running smoothly. With his eight arms, he juggled many tasks at once, but Oscar sometimes needed reminders that every part of the journey counted, and even the small things. That brings us to the big picture. One day, Captain Grow gathered his crew and said, to find the treasure, we must see the whole picture, not just our little parts. We need to work together like a well-oiled machine. They realized that they needed to share information and help each other, just like pieces of a puzzle fitting together. The path to Efficiency Island. It's all about sharing the load. Molly, Sam, and Oscar began sharing their ideas and challenges. They understood that it wasn't just about their own work, but how they could help each other too. Counting all cost. The crew learned that counting all cost was like counting all the stars in the sky. They needed to think about every single thing needed for their journey, not just the big things. And watching the numbers. Captain Grow had a special spyglass that showed him the magic numbers from their journey. If the numbers were t went too high, it meant their ship might not be as fast or efficient as it could be. They needed to keep everything balanced. The treasure of Efficiency Island. After working together and keeping everything in balance, Captain Grow and his crew finally reached Efficiency Island. They found the treasure chest full of success, which helped their kingdom grow stronger and happier. And so, Captain Grow and his crew learned that when everyone works together and shares their knowledge, the adventure is more fun and successful. They sailed off into the sunset, ready for new adventures, knowing that teamwork and understanding the big picture were the keys to success. And that's the story of Captain Grow and the treasure of Efficiency Island. Just like them, we learn that we're working together and looking at everything as a whole, we can achieve great things. So just curious, how would you describe go-to-market efficiency if you were wanting to describe this to a six-year-old, a coworker, you name it? How else would you describe go-to-market efficiency? Love to hear your thoughts. Curious if you thought this was weird uh, with how I just took a, a story that I generated through AI and ran it through Canva and then just presented it on a screen record, my way of, of, of presenting the information. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.